Hello Taurus, welcome to your September reading. This is for 2018, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs too, if you know that one. Now, uh, don't forget about my Vimeo channel. Uh, the link is below in the descriptions box. There you'll find part two of this reading. So let's get along with your general reading here, Taurus. From the House of Night Oracle, what came out for you was the card of focus. So for you, what I get is that you may feel a bit scattered when it comes to your energy. I feel like you need to pick something and focus on it. I feel for you if you're trying to do too many things at once or focus on too many people or situations at once, there's a, an, an energy here of frenetic movement. So for you, Taurus, I think it's important to keep that groundedness, that earthy quality. Otherwise, there may be a tendency to get a little bit, I want to say, out of control or unbalanced. And from the Angel's Guidance deck, you've pulled the card of Creative Project. So this could relate to something that you are fulfilling in terms of work or career. But also it could be to do with, with family, with, uh, with partnership, creatively working towards a project or a goal. For your overall energy from the Ganesha deck, you've pulled the card of energetic movement. So it really is a time of focusing your energy towards a goal. You're in a phase of development and change is how I feel. Now, it seems like you have a lot of energy and that's great and movement and, and it's propelling you forward now with this one I feel although you're very busy I think you need to refocus your energy in, in the right way is how I feel maybe you've taken on too much or you have become scattered your thoughts are all over the place and you're not sure what to do first or what to do next. As your overall energy here, you have the Eight of Wands. So again, we've got swiftness, activity, things speeding up. Now in the past, you have the, uh, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and two came out for you in the initial uh, draw here. You also have the High Priest, which is the Hierophant, which is your card here, Taurus. So as your past energy, what I pick up here is that there may have been, I do get that there has been a conflict or problems within a, a family or even a, a, a partnership here, which has led to a lack of stability I get for you, I pick this up more as, as the Taurian card rather than the Hierophant having any kind of meaningful energy with this card. I feel more so it's just about not being able to bring about stability within your home or with your partner. And in the present energy you have the Queen of Wands. So there may be someone around you, a fire sign. A Leo, Aries or Sagittarius, can be male or female because this is a, a general reading. And in the future, we have you here with, as the King of Pentacles, a Taurian, Earth Sign Man here. With this card there's maturity. So we have a pair here, this may be a partner, could be someone with fire in their chart, or could just be someone that is exhibiting qualities of the Queen of Wands. This is someone who is uh, confident in their abilities, adventurous, optimistic, very uh, someone who's uh, a lot of fun to be around, generally gregarious, a happy person when they're in the upright. And you're also in the upright here in the future. So there's stability here, there's security. It's being able to take care of your finances. Now in your advice or your best path to follow, we have the Earth Mother or the Empress card in reverse along with the King of Swords in reverse. 
Now as advice, <coughs> I do pick this up again as a pair. So you may each have qualities and it can be vice versa. But I feel that there is someone whose needs are not being met. It's either your partner or it could be the other way around. But I feel that there's an energy here of someone who is feeling exhausted. They've tried to put in a lot of energy when it comes to, to nurturing, bringing about stability within the, uh, the partnership. But they're coming up in the reverse, so I, I do get the sense that there is a feeling of being tired from putting the energy in and not putting enough energy into themselves. They've been taking care of others, others' needs, and not their own. So the health may have suffered as well as what I get. With the King of Swords in reverse, and this could be you, but it could be the opposite way around, as I said, there's a feeling of manipulation. Someone who can be a bit cool, detached, ruthless in his dealings. <clears throat> so if, we, for, if this is the qualities of between the, the partnership here, <clears throat> as your advice or your best path to follow, I have to say that if one of you is trying to mani manipulate the other, and that can come in many shapes and, and forms. Mentally, I, I feel it is more so than I, I don't feel it's it's anything physical. I feel it, it's 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 kind of a mental manipulation by this King of Swords in reverse, by being dishonest, selfish, someone who is not taking care of the needs of others thinking of himself. So as advice here, I would suggest that, that uh, if, if this is you doing this, I think you need to, to take a uh, an approach here of recognizing the other person's needs here, Taurus. And again, this may not be you, it could be the other way around. So either you're not taking care of your partner's needs or they are not taking care of yours here. But Taurus, I, I feel in the past here with the, this, this card of the High Priest, I, I do feel it's, again, th there can be a little bit of rigidness someone who doesn't allow for other points of view and with that ten of pentacles in reverse i just feel that it, it's led to some instability I, I don't pick it up as financial issues i pick it up more as a general stability it's that feeling of two people being happy together for the long term without having to fear manipulation or being taken advantage of by the other. It's trust. Now let's have a look in the environment. Now this is something that's happening external that is affecting your current energy. And we have the tower which is called the wild hunt in this green witch deck. Now with this one, it, it's a shake-up. So there is a shake-up here in the environment. It may be your partner that is saying, hey, no, I'm not going to put up with this kind of behavior anymore, Taurus. I want things to change or else we're just going to have to call it a day is what I'm picking up. Let's have a look at your hopes and fears. Now in the initial draw you had the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Two of Wands. So I, I think that you are fearing that you won't have a successful outcome with this relationship. 
how I view the Knight of Wands with the, in reverse with this Two of Wands is very much a feeling here of delay, a complication, and not moving forward towards a successful outcome. So I think that you do fear this. You fear the stagnation. You, you fear that you're not going to be able to start moving this relationship or this partnership in the right in the right direction towards success towards a directed goal now in the outcome here Taurus you have the five of swords in reverse and the ace of pentacles so here <clears throat> I do see there is the the possibility for a, a new start an opportunity it could be with a relationship it could also be a, a, a new job offer or a business venture here but it seems to suggest that it, it has the potential for prosperity there's an opportunity for something long term stable a grounded practical foundation with this ace something that can provide you with uh, the financial security and stability if you want it now with the five of swords in reverse what I pick up here is that you have to stop manipulating a matter or a partnership to, to get your own way I think for you you need to act with integrity because I with this king of swords energy in the reverse and the five of swords energy in the reverse I do get that you may have tried to manipulate someone or a situation to your own advantage Taurus but your advice is saying that it is affecting your possibly the health of your partner you're not taking care of their needs I don't think they're taking care of their needs either because I think their focus is, is on this relationship or the partnership but here in the outcome I do feel that there's a real need for you to act with integrity around this new opportunity do things on the up and up honesty clear direct honest communication is what I'm picking up for you Taurus it, it seems to suggest to me this this whole this whole reading feels like things are, are starting to really heat up for you with that eight of wands and we have an energetic movement you, you, you're really you're really going in, in I get you going in different directions here there's a real need for you to focus on what's important it's possible you you're becoming distracted from what's really important in your life and I get for you that that, that is something that is going to provide you with the opportunity for stability and security long term for you I do get that there is someone around you that is maybe being neglected or more so I feel that that they're affected by I, I, I want to say for some reason it's coming up to me that that you are trying to mold a a person possibly a partner to get what you want with that knight of swords in reverse it's very much someone who when it's in the upright I get this as someone who is willing to do anything to get what they want to achieve the result that they want and as the advice here it, it's suggesting that it is affecting your partnership very negatively so I think you need to take a really hard look if this is you Taurus again the energies can be vice versa so if this is not resonating as you it could be a partner if you're cross watching who is not treating their, their, their partner correctly it's affecting the partner's health their, 
and I do get that they are <coughs> possibly getting ready to shake things up. They want change in this relationship. Otherwise, I feel that, that you, your fear here of not being able to successfully manage a, uh, an outcome here or move towards a successful outcome will come true. But I think that if you're focusing your energy towards things that are not that important, I think you need to refocus your energy on your partner's needs. Because I think that they, they need you, they may need your help in terms of, I pick it up as support. They may be feeling down, they may be feeling ill because I do pick up someone who is potentially not, not feeling their best and, and they may be feeling like they're, I, I want to say a bit put upon or they've, or they've shouldered a lot of the, the burden, shouldered a lot of the responsibility when it comes to making this relationship work. So there's a lot to clarify with this reading here in part two, Taurus. I'm going to clarify what the uh, what the partner here, and, and this could be vice versa, of course. It could be male or female. I'll, I'll clarify what the partner is going to do. I feel that there's potential uh, change, a shake-up on the horizon. I also want to clarify what your future energy is here with this King of Pentacles. And I also want to find out what's going to happen in the outcome whether you're going to be able to manifest or uh, take advantage of this new practical new beginning or new offer so lots to clarify and uh, if you would if this is resonating with you please join me in part two of the reading that's going to be on my vimeo channel so if you'd like uh, to click on the link below in the descriptions box that will take you directly to the link for part two of this reading so i hope to see you there if not then i wish you all the best with this taurus and please stay tuned and i will let you know how to contact me for a personal reading and i will speak to you again in a couple of weeks so bye for now taurus hello everyone it's michelle from gypsy insights i'm an intuitive reader i receive the energies from the cards as i read them i'm here to provide guidance through tarot and i hope that you enjoy the readings my general readings can be quite specific and won't resonate with everyone. Please check your sun, moon and rising signs to see which one resonates the most with you. And remember, the energies can resonate with you or go vice versa. These general readings are provided free of charge, so if you are enjoying my readings, please feel free to donate using PayPal and my email address gypsyinsights at gmail.com. I look forward to reading for you personally. Please email me at gypsyinsights at gmail.com if you would like a personal reading. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll be adding additional content on a regular basis. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you again very soon.